Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. I'm so glad you could attend. Come inside, come inside. We got Santoni Cocktail Conference under the big top next on Leet Wine TV. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Leet Wine TV. I'm. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Leet Wine TV. I'm. Hello everybody, welcome to Leet Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fosco, We're here for a special edition of the show. So this is the San Antonio Cocktail Conference Under the Big Top event from Saturday night. And I know I recorded an intro like this at the event, but I'm, I think on that one, I'm completely washed out by the light from my camera, which is the phone. And um, later on, I did adjust it down to 10%. But even at that point, I get washed out a lot. So I apologize for that. It was the first time I've really done anything like this, where I, where I walked around with this, this entire setup. Um, I've learned that I probably should have just not even had a light because the iPhone itself does really, really well in low light. And even the DJI Osmo Pocket, which I used in, which I used between this video and the last video, does really well in low light anyway. I mean, it's not perfect in low light. You're gonna have people say the Osmo Pocket is horrible in low light, but the light, the light I had at the time, it, for what it is, it does it does well. I mean, for what this video is, it does well. So that's what's going on. It's gonna be a kind of a mishmash of stuff, and um, I try to hit the highlights. And there's you're probably seeing me walking around, just not not much happening. But then certain booths I hit. And I tasted a lot of cocktails. I only had like maybe one, two sips of most cocktails. Uh, I had a couple of straight shots. Uh, again, like a sip or two. And uh, it was over like, what, like a three hour period. I didn't drive. I mean, I Ubered there and back. So, um, but I also didn't, since I knew I was on camera, I didn't want to be completely schnockered. You're going to see some friends of mine uh, a little bit later in the video. You're going to see my guy uh, GoFro here twice. Uh, we've been social media friends for quite a while. And uh, you'll see some other friends of mine throughout the video. So that'll be cool. And um, it was just a fun time. And it was a circus theme. And, um, you know, I appreciate Cocktail Conference. Let me go in there for free because that's what happened. Um, I got I got free admission for being media. And a lot of the vendors are really cool. And uh, actually from this, uh, I actually got a sample bottle of spirits from uh, one of the vendors. So uh, look for that review later on. I don't know exactly when I'm going to do it. I probably should do it soon instead of waiting till I take my advance exam because I didn't tell the person what's going on. So I probably should review that pretty soon. So we'll see if maybe the next month or two, or maybe less than two months. But anyway, I got a free sample uh, through one of the vendors. And uh, so I just have to you know figure out a time where I can sit down and do the review. And I think that'll be my first like actual spirit review that's not next to somebody like who's responsible for the spirit. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. I had the cocktail with the, I had the cocktail. I just didn't have the spirit by itself. Um, so it was a fun event. And then I'll have like a little outro here in a minute. Hello everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco here for a special edition of the show. So I'm here at Under the Big Top San Antonio Cocktail Conference. It's the end of the uh, cocktail conference, their last night event. I'm sitting there uh, in front of the Johnny Walker booth. Let's kind of go over here real quick. Got a little drink here. I gotta look at the recipe again. I forgot which one I have. They gave me some cotton candy. It fell out. It's called the Ringmaster. And I'm gonna steal the recipe here real quick. I'm gonna steal the recipe here real quick. So you got Johnny Black. You got Abuelita Spirit, and then you got syrup, and then you got some uh, chocolate mole uh, bitters. Let's get a little close up on that. No, no, no. All right. All right, so let's walk around. Let's check it out. Hey, 
you doing today? Good, how are you? You're right? Outstanding. What do we got today? So we have a, a barrel aged Manhattan with a little bit of passion fruit and dry vermouth. And then we have a popcorn infused whiskey sour and lavender cola. You want to go do it with that? I'm going to get something else. Oh, I can see it. I see it. Check it out, man. What's up? That's right. Yeah, that's right. Go, right. Go, go, go Pro. Hell yeah. That's <laughs> really good. Yeah, man. This is good. I mean, I love this camera. This this is the first time I've used the extension pole. Like, seriously. Is it tracking it. you? Is it tracking your face? Is that yeah. what's happening? I see that. Yeah. Oh, I love that, dude. And if, if, I, if I do it right, it'll probably track yours. Hold on. Let's, let's try to... Okay, let's try to make it so... so I should be able to override it. It's not going to be override it. Hey, you today? What you got going on? Grilled cheese? Brisket grilled cheese. Come on, you gotta try. Oh my goodness. Can't deny Let's do it. All right, so some brisket grilled cheese, man. I can't deny the grilled cheese. That's awesome, man. Yeah, nice. great, man. Thanks, sir. Thank you. This is our food truck and catering company. It's called Mojo Man Eateries. Mojo so, Man Eater, okay. So, yeah, so wherever you're at, we come to you. You know, uh, we don't really set up places and just twist. We make sure we're going out there to serve the right thing and uh, get great quality and great customer service. So that's what it's all about. And we, our, this is year one. So okay. Catch us at Facebook at Mojo Man Eateries and give us a like, give us a boost for that. All right, man. Thank y'all very much. Thank you. This Thank is you. awesome stuff. Thank Appreciate you, it. Let's give this uh, give this a little try here. That's, that's pretty tasty, man. That mango's really coming through on that. Oh man, that's really tasty. Absolutely. Cheddar biscuit with sausage gravy, right? Yes, sir. All right, let's try this. I had to find a spot where I could put the put the phone down. It's kind of cinnamon. I don't know. I'm smelling like cinnamon, but I don't know if this from the biscuit or what. But this is good. That's really good. I like it a lot. So without Chef Mark, we wouldn't have this. So, uh, and if you don't already know, because I probably haven't mentioned it at all in the other episode, this is really uh, put on with the Houston Street Charity. So it's basically a charity uh, organization to help children. So this isn't just some party where people are just getting like drunk. I mean, they're having a good time. So this is actually for a good cause. It's not just an excuse to party in San Antonio. Let's check out the band. Texas 
Stranger Circus Caramel Pop. You ready for the fun? Okay. So yeah, let's. What do you got going on here, man? So we're using liquid nitrogen uh, to be able as an agent to freeze the product. We bring it in a liquid form. We add the Texas Ranger alcohol, the whiskey tonight, and then we're freezing it and serving it with popcorn, caramel popcorn. All right. So is that the freezing temperature of nitrogen? Correct. It's okay. negative 321 degrees. All right. So let's check this out. I'm excited because it's got lots of stuff that I like. Dude, are you kidding me? This is awesome, man. This is, this stuff is good. I like this a lot. Caramel's really coming through with the ice cream. I mean, I feel like Guy Fieri, man. And I'm a wine guy. A guy, I'm coming for you. You should come down here. Check this out. All right, so what's going on over here? Chef? Chef? Let's go And we have Smokey Bear. What's it called? Smokey? Smoky, Smoky mirror. mirrors. Tequila, I get it. Get you get up, me, me not, let me not be in front of the mirror because you're not supposed to do that when you're shooting, right? Yeah. Pictures so or video. Our rendition of a mezcal of fashion with añejo, era de añejo, ilegal reposado mezcal. We use orange bitters, angostura, and brown sugar syrup. Okay. Our signature craft cocktail from Tributary, brand new restaurant inside Marriott River Center. Oh, really? Okay, so local. All right. Yeah. Very nice. So we'll get, hopefully, a, there we go, we'll get a little shot of that. How you doing? All right, so let's try this out, man. Got a little, got a little like smoke going on here. I'm, I'm feeling it. I like mezcal. And this is at this is at tributary, like a normal drink. Is that just for the cocktail conference? All right, so you can go, you can go to the uh, River Center, Marriott River Center, right? Not River Water, River Center, yeah. I think I stayed there a few years ago for Costa Conference. So you go to Marriott River Center, go to Tributary, see these fine folks, taste some of this. This is tasty, man. A whiskey smash. And what makes it a smash? So it is a nine banded whiskey. Okay. Liquid alchemist, strawberry syrup, a little bit of lemon juice, and a sprinkle of salt. Okay. That's what we top it with a little kick of coconut up top. So I don't know if you saw it on the label, but it's it's finished in, hold on, what was it again? Rum, right, rum? So finished in rum, port, and not just any wine barrel, but done, as in like the winery done, Cabernet. I don't know if it's Howell Mountain done, but it's done. And done's really good wine. So there's a lot of crossover between wine, spirits, beer, and the barrels they're using. I mean, Scotch kind of started the whole thing a long, long, long time ago using sherry casks to give it a sherry finish with Scotch. But everyone's kind of getting onto this bandwagon in the last, I don't know, like decade or less. And uh, so you got wine being aged in bourbon barrels and tequila barrels, and you got other whiskeys 
uh, other spirits being aged in other wine barrels and you got beer being done in wine barrels so everyone's kind of getting on that bandwagon kind of tries something a little bit different a little bit new some of it really works some of it isn't so great we're gonna try this one see how it is all right so the cocktail's got the spirit which is dovetail it's got dolin which is a vermouth uh the red red vermouth it's got i got i, I can't see from here so grapefruit what is Oleo? I don't. What is Oleo? I don't know what Oleo is. Okay. So we got grapefruit, rind, sugar, and the grapefruit. Okay. So all right. So grapefruit, grapefruit, rind, sugar, and then the. Uh, okay. And then we got the uh, Pichot's bitter. The shows in Angostura are like the main bitters people forever. Uh, then, oh yeah, what's this? So hold on, we're gonna get we're gonna get that in there. Okay. So the bitterman's cho chocolate, chocolate, or oh, chocolate, basically yeah. chocolate mole. Okay, yeah, basically it's chocolate. And then Fever Tree Club Soda. All right, so let's check this out. It's starting to get heavy in my hand, but. Hey, as far as cocktails go, this is pretty good. The chocolate isn't, like I'm usually not a fan of mole itself, but this is not like over the well, over the top overwhelming on that. Um, it's pretty well balanced. I like I like it a lot. So I got Puro Pinche San Antonio here. Like we've been we've been like like Twitter friends, social media friends for like probably 10 years 10 now. 10 years, yeah. for a long time. So we're hanging out here at Cocktail Conference. It's usually where we meet up. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> once a year, downtown San Antonio. That's right, you should follow her. We're at having Euro Pinche. Seriously, yes. yeah. I'm gonna try this. <laughs> this good? is Metallica. Metallica, yeah. Whiskey. So uh, our friend took a seminar at Cocktail Conference. I don't know if you got to go to this one. No, I didn't. He said they make the whiskey to Metallica's music, and it. That's cool. Yes, it, uh, it's uh, it's blended with the reverb from the music, and the it has a playlist that's associated with every batch. That's cool. <laughs> now I gotta try it. All right. Cheers. No, I've tried nine different matches. Let's try it out. Got the disco going too. Hey man, this is good. I know a lot of times celebrities just put their name on stuff. This is really good. I mean, I could see like drinking this like on my own, like not at a place like this, like, I don't drink a lot at home as far as liquor, but I can see having it at home, or I can see uh, going to a bar and having this, but I would rather drink it straight, not in a cocktail, and I try to drink these straight. So tell me about uh, Bearface. So Bearface is a Canadian whiskey, part of the Mark Anthony Spirits, or Craft of Spirits portfolio. Uh, what we've got here today for you is a New York Sour, making it with uh, Bearface Canadian whiskey, a little bit of lemon juice, simple syrup, um, red wine float, Rosemary and Luxardo cherry garnish. Very delicious. A red wine float. All right. I so normally, I, if I'm gonna give an opinion, I'm giving it like first shot on camera. I took a sip. This is really good. So thank you, gentlemen. Um, I was like, I'm gonna go put myself on camera. So I'll just sip it. Some of them I've sipped on camera. Some of them I haven't because they they don't sound great on. I this sounded great. I don't know why I didn't do this, but this is really tasty. So. Yeah, and um, the Hungarian oak uh, conversation actually isn't, didn't make the original. So these guys use Hungarian oak, which is super cool because nobody really does that. Apparently a brand does do that of some other spirit. We won't go in that because, well, I don't, we're not here. So, um, but in the wine world, they do use Hungarian oak, but even that is a little bit rare. So this is tasty, man. It's sad because I only take a couple of sips of any of these cocktails and I throw them out. This one I would totally sip on all night. Okay, this sounds really good, right? So you got gin. Alright, so we're working with our number nine gin cocktail. Yeah. 
we got gin, lemon juice, and blueberry. We got gin, lemon juice, and blueberry juniper syrup. I'm, I'm thinking this might be pretty good. These guys, these guys are in Texas too. Trio. What are they playing? I mean, the drink is good, but what are they playing? Okay, it's circus music. I was afraid it was gonna be some college I don't like. Okay. Back to the cocktail. It's good. I like it. Now this music's much better. All right, cool. What? <laughs> yeah? There you go. <laughs> uh, these guys are cool, man. We switch. We switch to the iPhone and everything, man. We got GoPro San Antonio here in the house. We're still enjoying cocktail conference. You know where you're doing it, right? Right. Serrano peppers. All right. Then what we did was we went ahead and did a uh, passion fruit gimlet. Uh, okay. Took some Another fresh Austin based Austin, product. Austin, right? yes, Austin based product based out of the Woodlands in Houston. All right. So all Texas products this throughout. These really great. Oh wait. Thank you. These drinks are really great. This is this is my favorite brand Ambar. I'm gonna buy it forever. And I live in San Antonio. I just moved here from New York. I, I'm buying up all of Ambar. So you're gonna have to go to Dallas and Houston and everywhere else to buy this, okay? All right, let's try this out. So we're gonna try this out. So that guy gave it a really ringing endorsement. So let's, let's, let's see how it is. Wow, dude. Wait a minute. Yeah, I can't, I can't read that piece of that recipe. Good lord. Get the there is the, yeah, the Serrano, yeah. Wow, that Serrano is, it's potent and it's tasty. And that passion fruit really helps, yeah. Just kind of toes it down, right, yeah. I mean, this is, this is tasty, man. This is really good. Ambar uh, Nejo right here. Perfect, thank you. So, people here at Ambar were kind enough to let me try the Añejo on its own. So, let's check it out. Hey man, like, you know, I don't drink a whole lot of tequila, but this is super smooth. So, this is not like your... Yeah, we're just not gonna go there. Is this good? This is good tequila. It's smooth. This is stuff you should be drinking. You totally drink it on its own. This is not your well junk. All right, this is this is good, man. Salute. All right, so pretty sure I tried everything inside. So let's go outside. So I think uh, so I can get Chef on camera for like a second. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Um, do a little Frito pie action. And uh, then I'm trying to call it a night. And it's early. It's like, it's not even 10 yet. Come on. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Woo. <laughs> All right. The line's down. Chef's hanging out. Let's see what we can do over here. All right. Let's do it. I like that guy. Nice to see you. Yeah. Good to see you. I gotta, I gotta have some. All right, you know? I got you. So we're gonna, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually get the video to do this this time. So. All right. Do you like cheese? Yeah. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Cheese, please. Sally, you've been with my hands. You've been there for a long time. I've been there for 18 years. Going on 18 years. In nice. February, yeah. Congratulations on that. Thank you so much. Do you decide on how many peppers? 
and we're going to have a few more toppings here as soon as I get back from the restaurant. Hi, Hi Chef. How are you? Nice to see you again. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Sour Thank cream. you for putting this on. Yeah, absolutely, man. Lettuce? Every year it gets better and better. Yeah, lettuce. Yeah, that part Every of year last gets better and better. At, uh, yeah. Saint Anthony. I didn't get to do last night, but tonight yeah. was really good. Oh, no, this was good at the St. Anthony. We were back at the Majestic the first time, yeah. which was... Great. Nice. Sour cream yeah, we'll do a little bit of that too. Yeah. Awesome. Let's get that on there too. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. So Frito pie. It's got the chili. It's got the chili cheese Fritos. A lot. A lot. My friend Gary. <laughs> anyway. So we got the chili cheese Fritos. We got some cojita, co cotilla, not cojita, co cotilla cheese. Some lettuce. Some cilantro. Some jalapenos. And I mean, this is good stuff. Like I said before, I went, I don't think they got in there, Gary. Anyway, um, before I walked up to the table, I mean, the Fritos are, they're okay, but I mean, you put it all together, it totally works, man. This stuff is good. Gary is awesome. He's a good friend. I've known Gary for like years now. And he is so generous and he's a cool guy. He goes party every year. I love him. I love all these people. You can't really see them, but I love all these people over here. They're all behind the camera. They're all laughing. Gary, get down here. I love you guys. Awesome. All right, man. The clean sneak. I think I got it on the on the camera. If I didn't, it's so it's the Rossville Mastercrafted Straight Rye Whiskey, uh, barrel proof. And what's the proof again on it? It's the barrel proof. The Mastercrafted is ninety-four percent. Ninety-four percent. Okay. So the barrel proof is 112.6. All right. So then we got the uh, bitter truth apricot liqueur. We got the lemon juice, the maple syrup. We also got the dried fig, right? Yeah. Yeah, we got dried fig in there. So check it out. That's tasty, man. That's super tasty. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I really like the apricot and the fig. The apricot and the fig really come through, really balance everything out. And you really don't feel the alcohol in this. That's so it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get let's, let's get the person responsible on camera first of all. <laughs> Not a lot of people. Uh, I mean, people stray away from rye just because they know it has to be one thing, right? So uh, I wanted to make something and create that balance of all flavors. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this episode. I just want to thank the San Antonio Cocktail Conference for uh, supplying me a comp ticket to the event. And uh, I had a lot of fun. And I hope you had fun watching this episode and also watching last episode. It was a little bit different in the type of style of show. Not that that show is going, not that that style is going to be a style that I continue to do in my reviews and all that. But in these situations, I'll very likely do something very similar to this style. So we're going to wrap all this up. So when you go to the website, you can click the links above. Uh, there'll be some you know links there to friend me up with social media and all the kind of other websites there. In the description below, no matter how you watch the video, I'll have all the relevant links to the episode. And then right below that, there'll be a PayPal link. You're more than welcome to send me any type of contribution uh, to help with just defer the cost of the show itself. Uh, you can also help defer the cost of the advanced sommelier exam, which uh, last episode I, I said minutes, it's hours. Right now, I'm just shy of 1,186 hours until the exam in Portland, Oregon, not Maine. And then uh, the links below that are all my Amazon affiliate links for the majority of the main equipment that I use on Amazon. So. You're more than welcome to uh, click those links and maybe buy something from Amazon if you want to send me some money, some ducats, as I like to say, uh, to help defer the cost of all that stuff. That'd be really appreciated. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it. And we'll see everyone again next time.